big changes at the Nebraska Department of Corrections. This after hundreds of inmates were released early because of a faulty system. Action 3 News reporter Deborah Tuff tells us what those new changes look like. Deb. That's right. The overhaul will change how the department calculates good time credits. These new changes mean 2,000 sentences are now being reviewed. Now, Department of Corrections Director Scott Frakes says the changes come in the form of a new upgraded software system, a system that should minimize human error when calculating time. So what does that mean? Look at how good time will now be cal calculated. There will be a location history verification. Before the system didn't look at this to see if an entire 12 month period was served. As a result, inmates got out early. What will also change the mandatory minimum ver verification. The current system does not look to see if an inmate is serving a minimum portion of their sentence. Automation will make sure inmates who serve their mandatory minimum aren't allowed to receive good time credits. Third, good behavior verification. Inmates will have to serve a year without misconduct before getting good time credits. And last, there will be a revised concurrent system verification. This new system, fairly new. Well, we're developing the software in-house, but using um, you know, standard tools that are available. Our testing process and verification process, we're still looking at different options to make sure that the product does exactly what we expect it to do. Now the department also calculated every month as 30 days. Now the new technology will allow a calendar month based system. At Action 3 on Action 3 News at 5, Josh Egbert takes a deeper dive into additional inmates being recalculated. He'll also look at the cultural changes within the department. Deborah Tuff, Action 3 Midday. Deb, thanks.